you will be given a piece of magnesium metal you have to take the mass of this magnesium metal okay so we go to the mesa and we have to make it zero and we'll put it inside here and we take the mass of the magnesium metal and then we record that mass clear fine now after that what we do we make this magnesium into a small piece can you have a look at here just make it like small and without gloves do it it's easy take a copper wire after that and then cover your magnesium I take the mass only magnesium after that I cover it eh? okay. then what I do I keep it there I will fill the beaker with water so I take it to the tap and fill around half half the beaker you fill it with water no need to worry about the amount just around half then put your magnesium coil with the copper inside and let it make sure it go inside in the middle okay now what you do next step you go to the acid you know this acid is six molar six molar means it's very strong acid if you do not operate properly it will damage and burn your skin so be careful in handling the acid okay you take from the acid to the, the graduated cylinder around 10 15 20 around somewhere in this range milliliter understood okay no need to be very accurate just add it around 10 15 milliliter okay So I have around 16 or 17 milliliters. It's not an issue. So I have the acid now. Now what should I do next? Next, I fill it with the water. So I go to the tap and add water from the tap. The amount of water I have added from the tap is not enough. I must add more. Okay. I will add more water till it comes to the top. See, I have added complete full amount of water. Take the now what should I do? I have to transfer this acid with the flask upside down inside the beaker. And it should go on to the magnesium metal. Okay. For this one, you don't need a big piece of paper. Even a small paper will be enough to help you. But if you are afraid... Then you can go for a big piece. See here I'm going to do it with a small piece of paper. <coughs> See here. Better to keep this one gray. Okay. Just put the paper. Okay. Hold it. Can you see? Okay, go inside. And now once it has gone inside, now you take the paper with the crucible tongue. Okay, take it out. Keep it on the magnesium metal. You can see the magnesium now started reacting with what? The acid. And producing hydrogen gas bubbles. Magnesium reacted with, reacting with uh, acid to produce hydrogen gas bubbles. So we have to wait till we get enough gas so what we have what are the measurements you're going to take you can see here we started from somewhere here now see the amount of gas is increasing is it so more and more gas will come up and the water will be uh, and it displaced it is moving down water is moving down so we have to wait and see what's the reading see it is 10 now next will be 20 30 40 it will go down so we have to take the reading when the reaction finished how do we know the reaction is finished? When there is no gas bubble, is it? When there is no gas bubble, means the reaction finished, then I will take the reading. It starts 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, maybe it will go down. We don't know where it's going to be. And 
after it has gone we have to take following readings we have to take what thermometer reading by putting the thermometer inside the solution you can thermometer see the bulb there is a small line going here and it shows a reading around 20 21 now because it is in the air so you must take the temperature of the water skip it inside for 30 seconds and take the reading here around now it is I think around 25 degrees Celsius it's hot today and what that we take the temperature reading we take this volume reading from the measuring cylinder and then we take a reading from this barometer we take the reading from this barometer the barometer reading is to measure the pressure in the air not inside the water here we are making the pressure of the air so we take the reading here you can see it's a needle I'll show you say the outside scale the black color needle it goes to 1010 to 1002 it's 1015 it is 1015 the reading the reading is 1015 but there is a small conversion I will do it later so what are the readings you are going to take basically you took the mass of the magnesium from the balance and when the reaction finished you take the volume of the gas here now we have around uh, 20 30 40 around 50 uh, close to 47 milliliter it's still going down and we take the temperature reading this is in Celsius and then we take the barometer reading that's all about the taking the reading then we go for calculation okay